So if you have a website or a blog or an e-commerce store or just an idea and you've always wanted to make an application out of it but have no coding experience and you but you want an actual application, not something that you can just bookmark and put a web app icon onto your home screen, but you actually want the application downloadable from the App Store, from the Google Play Store, I might have found like the coolest no-code tool on the planet called App My Site. And it's in the name itself. If you have a site and you want to create an app out of it, by all means, this service is the last thing you need. So I had to show it off because it's amazing if you guys can see in the B-roll that I myself, who has zero coding experience, is able to create an app that shows blog posts, that has an e-commerce store section to shop for whatever digital products or physical products. And overall, I think the service is super intuitive, so I had to show it off. Let's talk about this thing and see how many more people we can get building applications in the App Store with zero coding experience. Works on iPad and on Mac. Let's talk about it. All right, everyone, so let's get right into this video. And I did want to show off that this can be 100% done from an iPad, whether it's an iPad Pro, Mini, Air, whatever the case may be, because at my site is a web-based application or a web-based situation. So just being able to go through Safari to get this done is wonderful. No need to have a Mac, no Mac OS needed in order to publish an application, which is very rare. So what I wanted to do real quick is go over the main application or the main site itself. So create an app with the most powerful mobile app builder. And if you guys are used to building websites from you know predetermined no code solutions, this is gonna be very, very familiar to you. So think Webflow, think WordPress, think website builders that require very little to no code whatsoever. And again, this is a zero code solution. So everything you need in an app creator, no coding required, make an app in minutes. And this is very true. It'll be very simple, but you can get one done in minutes plans for everybody. And just to preface this, there is a free version. So when you do get into it and you do want to start creating an application, it is 100% free to test it out, to build one, to get previews, to even test it on your phone itself. But the paid versions, which I'll show you guys in a little bit, is based on a few things. It's based on whether or not you want to publish to the actual Play Store, which is $20 a month, or publish to the Apple Store as well, which is $40 a month. And then you also have the $80 a month version, which is gives you a lot more add-ins and plugins and things like that. So I'm in the pro version right now because I did want to publish it to the App Store, but that's what I want to let you guys know from a cost perspective. So with the preview version, I highly recommend hitting the link in the description below, testing it out and seeing if this is something that you think is viable for what you need. Because again, all you need is a website in order to get this running. And this is the dashboard that you get with App My Site. So in this dashboard, you can see that I have a demo website called Daily Fashion. So if I go on here, you can see that the actual store itself, this is what it looks like, right? Very simple, you have some apparel that you can buy, different categories, you have blogs in here. So just to give you an idea of what it looks like on the website version, and it literally takes this and turns it into an application. So all of your content and creation and updates is being done through your WordPress website and no content is being created on the actual app itself. So whenever this gets updated, so you can set it up so it updates whenever you see fit and then you'll be good to go. So let's go back into the app store itself or to the app my site version. And it's very simple. All you need to do is three real things to get something up and running. So the first thing is your app appearance. So if you go into the app appearance section, you want to create the app itself, right? You want to see what the app icon is going to look like, how you want it to show in the app store and on the phone itself. And what I love about this is that it gives you a little preview. So you have the iPhone preview right here. You can also go with Android to see the preview right there. And you can do whatever you want to it, right? So you can make it a white icon if you want. I can change the actual text to maybe put my initials. You can change the font itself. You can change the color of the application or the color of the font. So if we want to do like a blue red or like an aqua red or something like that, by all means go for it. And then you can see that you do have a preview right here. So if I zoom in, there's a preview. And this is also why I love doing it on the iPad because you can do things like this where you can also pinch the zoom and get things done like that. Once it's all completed, you also have the ability to upload whatever image you want. So if you have a logo or something that you want to put on there, by all means go for it. Then you go to the launch screen. So this is what the launch screen is. So this is the screen that users get whenever they literally open up the app immediately. So you can set any background you want. They have a few predetermined ones that you can kind of scroll through, use as you see fit. As you can see, I chose one of the predetermined ones, but let's switch it to this one because it gives you a nice kind of white background with some texture. You can do the tint color if you want. So if I want to make it red, I can. That's awesome to see. You can do the image opacity. So that's where the red starts to come in. So I can do one of these, but I'm gonna keep it really full right there. You can align the logo or align the, the verbiage wherever you want. And again, you have the ability to upload a logo and everything is the same as it was before. You can change the logo text, change the color of the actual logo itself. So let's, if I wanna make it white, I can do that. You can change the actual font of every single aspect of it. Obviously white doesn't work too well because of the fact that you can't see it, 
but there it is. And you can change the font size between 15 and 30. You don't want to go any bigger because then it won't fit and you don't want to go any smaller because then you can't really see it. So those are the things you get in there. And then you go into the login and sign up screen, which this is awesome because for small creators, for small blogs, for smaller websites, it's all about lead generation, right? It's all about getting as many emails, as many logins, as many people involved so you can start posting out newsletters or start giving updates to people. And the only way to really communicate that is with an email. So having a good login screen or good sign up screen is great. You can upload one if you want to or use some of the ones that they have right here. And you can change everything you want. So if I want to make this red, make my daily fashion up here red, I can do that. I can do the background if I want to make the whole thing black, I can do that. And then I have to go down to the welcome text. Maybe I want to make the welcome text white. So let's make that white. So log in and sign up. And you can do things like change the shape of the different ways to actually authenticate or go into it. So you can log in with Gmail, Facebook, or Apple. And you can change it. I like to keep it in rectangles, maybe circles, you know, whatever you see fit. And again, you can change the font to whatever you want within reason right and then again you can see the android version and then this little arrow lets you see that if you are maybe in an age restricted website maybe you're involved with something else you can age restrict it and you'll be good to go and then you can actually update and modify whatever text is on here which is beautiful to see and that is the login screen this is going to be very important moving forward then you have the color theme so you have to decide what themes you want what colors you want like if you want to make everything black and you can see that that changes up there the text color will keep it white let's change the font to like georgia you know, the other button colors, I want to make that black as well. These are all things that are going to be persistent throughout the UI of the application. And again, different views with different iPhone versus Android. And then we go to the home screen. So the home screen, this is where you get to decide what you want to show. Because again, it's pulling stuff from your current website, from your WordPress website. So it's very easy. If you want the home header there, you can keep it. If you want to lessen that, get rid of it. By all means, you can do that. You have the ability to have a main banner. So if you do want to have like your big logo here really showing, you can go hop into the settings say what it says, where it's aligned. And then again, I like to remove that because I want people to get all the information right away. So I don't like to put that, but if you want to put your logo on there, by all means, go for it. Then you have the blog banner, so I can make that big or small. If I want to blog categories, you can see how it changes. So it's basically how you want the interface to look whenever somebody finally gets past the login screen and gets to the website itself. And what's cool is that these are live, so you can actually scroll through these and see what it looks like if somebody does have the time to scroll through it. You can actually click on stuff, which is good to see. And I don't know, I just, I'm, I'm a big fan of having a live preview of everything that you're trying to change, everything you're trying to customize. And I'm gonna reiterate, the content itself is not going to be from at my site. The content is gonna come from your WordPress website, perfectly organized into a application that can be downloaded from the Google Play Store or from the App Store. And then after you're done with all that, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is actually connect your WordPress website. And this is very, very easy. All you have to do is use your login, so your sign-in email or username, whatever it is for your WordPress website. And then the application password, it's not your password to log into the WordPress website. You actually have to create an API key inside of WordPress, which is very simple. All you have to do is log into your WordPress website, admin panel as an admin, navigate to the users, go to profile, and then you're able to create an API key. So what's nice about this is that there are walkthroughs if you guys wanna check them out, but it's very, very easy. It took me like 15 seconds to figure it out. And all you do is you copy it and you're good to go. So I love that about the WordPress website. You verify it, give it a second to do its thing. I'm already verified, but I'm gonna verify it for you live once again. API key submitted successfully. So that's going to allow WordPress to send all the content and all the data to at my site to then create an actual application for you. Once that's connected, you're gonna to wanna to troubleshoot it, make sure that all nine things are testing correctly. So plugins are working, pages are connected, permalinks are working, API details are validated. This is all stuff that Obviously, it doesn't mean too much to me personally, right? Because I don't really understand what's going on, but you want to make sure that they're all tested correctly to make sure that it's going to be working. And then if you go into the settings, this is where you get to start to populate everything that you want. So if you have a shop section, you can do that. Blog, menu, profile. You can even go to the menu, which is that little hamburger menu. I like it to auto-populate my app menu, so posts and pages. Love that about that, so I don't have to worry too much about it. Then you have the, the user section, so four different users, you can enable user login, guest browsing, enable login and registration from Google, Apple, and Facebook. You also have posts that you can do, so web view and grid view. You can hit the pages section, which is nice. So all these things are just easily customizable throughout there. And then you can finally preview it. So you can actually preview it on your iPad on a fake iPhone. So if I wanna to click to start, it's gonna install the app and you can decide which ones you wanna do. So you can do 11 Pro Max, you know, you can do Pixel 4, Nexus 5, which is funny. What else can we do in here? iPhone 11 Pro, iPhone 8. But there you go that you can see that the app is opening itself. We're gonna allow that. And then here's your application. So it'll slowly load up. It's pulling the data from the WordPress website and then you're gonna be good to go. So you're gonna be able to scroll through this, test it out, and you can see that that same blog post is actually on the website itself. So everything translates correctly. 
you have the shop buttons, you can see how it's looking, and if you like it, then you go to the download section, and then this is where I'm gonna let you guys know what you need, right? So for Android, it's actually very simple to upload something on the Play Store. You just use your Google Play account to get that done. And then on the iOS side, it is, you do fall into that $40 category in terms of their subscription service, but also you need a developer account from Apple, which is $100 a year. So keep that in mind if you are looking to get stuff on the actual App Store. But once that's done, you'll be good to go. You can publish it and then run with it. So I love that about At My Site. Very simple, very easy to use. And honestly, if you have all the credentials you need, in five minutes, you can have an app in the App Store. And then you have different things like add-ons, which are cool to have. So app store design, mobile app design. So if you want somebody to come in and provide a service to design it for you, by all means, you can do that. You can manage all your users from here too. You have chat implementation, which is awesome. So you're able to chat with your app users, which is great to have. You have the ability to monetize on iOS. So you can use Google ads to then monetize inside of the application. And it's just another way to make some more money. So overall, I love the application. Let me show you what it looks like on the phone itself. So let's finish up here. So let me show you what it looks like on the phone itself. So here I have my iPhone 13 Pro Max. I open up the application and here it is, right? So obviously this works off of your WordPress website. So whatever content, whatever blog post, whatever e-commerce section you have already built in is gonna show up on the phone itself. So here you can see that I have the homepage. So all this stuff is on the website. You can click onto them, read about the blogs that you've already written, press the back key. You can see that I have a shop section down here. I can go and click on one of my items, add it to my cart, which is awesome. And you can see that I can just apply coupon, redeem rewards, check out directly from here. I can go back into the blog section very easily and click on whatever I wanna see fit. You have the menu button, which gives you a good idea of what's going on on the entire website. You can email, you can call, share. You have a little settings menu right here to allow for push notifications, which I mentioned before. The more people that jump on this on the actual application, the more power you have to kind of build a community with push notifications within reason because you don't want to annoy a lot of people with too many notifications. But overall, I think this platform is awesome. It's for those people that have maybe a simple website that have always wanted to get into the app world and put their website on an application, but don't really have the necessary tools, you know, the budget or the developer like know-how of how to code for something like this. So at my site is gonna be a great tool for a lot of people to get their stuff onto the Play Store and onto the App Store. So as you guys saw, at my site is a very, very intuitive tool. It's as simple as you want it to be or as you know complex as you want it to be. For me, I went the simplest route. Like if you just have a WordPress website and you want to make an application out of it and just post it into the App Store and post it onto the Google Play Store, it's so, so simple. But if you want to get a little bit more customized, you want to get into more granular things, so if you have a website or a blog or an e-commerce store or just an idea and you've always wanted to make an application out of it but have no coding experience and you but you want an actual application not something that you can just bookmark and put a web app icon onto your home screen but you actually want the application downloadable from the app store from the google play store i might have found like the coolest no code tool on the planet called app my site and it's in the name itself if you have a site and you want to create an app out of it by all means, this service is the last thing you need. So I had to show it off because it's amazing if you guys can see in the B-roll that I myself, who has zero coding experience and you wanna make it more app-like, that at my site also has that capability, which is awesome to see. And I love how these companies and these services are now bridging the gap between like a coding and a no-code solution, right? So I'm under the mindset because I've never learned how to code. I'm not a coder whatsoever. I've never coded anything in my entire life. I think I took one comp sci class in college and did not go very well. But overall, if I can build an application with at my site, then you definitely can. So if you guys do wanna try something like this out and just create an application out of your website, put it on the app store and then just start blasting it on social, just to kind of build your community a little bit better, because that's another thing. With applications, there's a better sense of community because it requires an extra step or two to get that application onto your phone or onto your iPad or onto your computer. So once somebody has that on their phone, you can start doing push notifications and you can build a real sense of community with that application. But if you guys do wanna check it out, I'm gonna link it down in the description below. It's free to try out. It's, they have like a freemium version. If you do wanna put it on the actual app store, you have to pay for it. But if you just wanna build an application and see how it runs both on your phone and on the computer, it's absolutely free to use. But that's gonna do it for this video, everybody. If you didn't make it to the end, leave a little dolphin and leave a comment below if you guys are willing to try something like this out. Is this something or is this a tool that you've always wanted? Have you ever thought about making an application but didn't have the tools to do so? Leave a comment down below. I'm always curious to know what you guys think. And if you guys wanna see some more iPad, iOS, and macOS related content, click on one of these videos right here. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.